Namaste. Well, I was doing some astrological research recently, and I ran across this video from Joni Patree. And basically she is saying, I'll, I'll summarize it briefly, the astrological indications coming up in the next three months or so are strikingly similar to the conditions around 1939-1940, just before the outbreak of World War II. So, basically, the conclusion is we're looking at the beginning of World War III. You know, this has been predicted by many people for a long time, and I remember back in the 60s, we thought it was going to happen any minute. But it didn't, somehow or other, uh, due to the fact that the time was not ripe. But now it is. And especially over the next two months, there are going to be some radical, unexpected changes, some real black swans coming out of the recent solar eclipse degree and also the fixed star Algol, which is a factor in many outbreaks of conflict. So I'm feeling it already in my life. Something rare and wonderful has happened. That is, I've been contacted by a representative of a group of Vedic sannyasis who live way up in the hills in an undisclosed location, right? And basically, they're inviting me to come. So in a couple of days, I'm going to go there and meet them. And uh, let's see what happens. But it's quite likely I'm going to move there. So I will be up country, uh, in the jungle, living in semi-primitive conditions uh, with sadhus, which is really my favorite lifestyle. And up until now, I did not meet any sadhus who appreciate my work. But now I have, and we're in contact, and we're working out, you know, how to make everything happen. So what is the upshot here? Well, it seems to me I'm being moved to a safe location. This place where I'm going is not of any strategic interest whatsoever. <laughs> it has no economic or military value. Uh, it's just a holy place. Has been for many centuries, millennia even, so it's not a place for any economic development or, you know, technological inventions or whatever. Quite the opposite. So this is going to be something I'm looking forward to for a long time. Actually, I started this channel with the idea of having a course. Actually, the whole channel is designed as a course where you start at the beginning and work your way through, you know, different levels and so on. And that's given in our document called the CRC Video Series Catalog, which is linked in the description below. So it's up to you now. There is very little time left to make significant spiritual advancement. A lot of things are going to change on the surface of this planet. I don't expect to be around here much longer. And I need to prepare for the transition. So I'm going to be concentrating on sadhana now that I have an environment that's conducive for it. And maybe I'll take some videos, you know, with permission, of course, and share them on the channel here. But basically, what you've got now is pretty much 
it. It's pretty complete. And it goes from the basic questions of the existential human condition. Why are we here? Why are we suffering? How can we get out of this? All the way up to the most sophisticated philosophy of the Upanishads and Brahma Sutra, with links to all the source materials, so that you can go ahead and do your own research. I've even linked to uh, software tools, very, very advanced software tools, and projects that I've created that you can download and use for your own work. And you should, because you can forget about economic advancement or some kind of political uh, activism or environmental, you know, changes and all of this, because the whole world is now entering a period where there is going to be mass psychosis, that is, war. And, you know, this is not really a big surprise to anyone with their eyes open, because we've seen over the last, I don't know, 50 years or so, how society has gradually become polarized. The distance and, and differences between men and women, rich and poor, powerful and not powerful, um, and so on, are simply growing wider and wider. So when this happens, when the social contract is violated, then war is the inevitable answer. It resets everything, puts everybody back on the same level, and it also forces people to get organized just in order to survive. So the excessive individualism that we've seen over the last, you know, few decades or so uh, is not going to be supportable in that environment. In other words, retribalization, a restructuring of the human society at all levels is in the cards. And if one has foresight one will imbibe the spiritual teachings and put them into practice because especially the next two years or so are going to be pretty rocky. Everything that can change most likely will. So you can understand there are going to be a lot of big shifts. So I want to implore you to take full advantage of this channel. Don't neglect it, but make it a regular part of your sadhana to educate yourself in the various topics that we cover. And what do we cover? Karma yoga, bhakti yoga, raja yoga, and jnana yoga. So you should go through them in that order and educate yourself. Even if you're unable to practice at a very advanced level, you need to know the map of consciousness, how it leads to enlightenment. Knowing this and practicing any form of meditation or sadhana will lead you gradually to the goal. Maybe not in this life, but sooner than if you didn't have this knowledge. So I have to wish you adieu. And until we meet again, auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> and uh, also to encourage you and bless you with the wisdom of the Vedas and the Vedanta and with the hope, the fond hope, <laughs> that you will put these instructions into action. Now, I am not a guru. I am not a teacher in the formal, ordinary sense. I am simply a reflection of the wisdom of the Vedas and Upanishads. 
And so I hope in my work over the last 12 years on this channel, I have been able to shed a little light. It's reflected light, but it's still light <laughs> on these wonderful teachings and the powerful methods that put them into practice and that you will use this light to see the real truth of existence. Aum Tat Sat. Aum Shakti Aum. Aum Namah Shivaya.